Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I have a little story to tell you. Now, in this story, I want you to watch, listen, and feel with your heart, with me, as I share this. All right. Now, once upon a time, there was a little old lady, and she was a kind old soul, and she decided to go out for a little stroll down her little pathway. She didn't go too far. But she saw a couple of kids and they seemed to have been beaten up. And she calls them into her driveway and she says, are you okay? And they're crying and they've got little, the you know, a couple of little sisters, big brothers. They're all beaten up and hurt. They don't know where their parents are. Their parents were taken and beaten and you know, thrown against the road somewhere, but the kids have no transportation, and they're they're wounded. They're really hurt. So the little old lady, she doesn't have a phone, she doesn't have a way to call out, but she invites the men and she dresses their wounds and she gets her first aid kit out and she takes care. She uses real good bandaging and and then she asked them, would you like some water? Do you want something to eat? You look like you're so hungry. Um, I used to have kids. I still keep their little clothes. Would you like to change clothes and see if any of them, they may be too big, but at least they'll be better than what you have on now. And she does. And they do. And next thing you know, one day leads to the next. The next day leads. And she's taking them in. She's feeding them. She's clothing them. She has a few young men that go to the market. They bring home extra groceries so she has food for the kids. And now she's pretty much adopted these poor little orphaned kids. I am telling you, this woman is so loving. She is so kind. She hugs them. She sings to them. She plays the piano for them. She entertains them. She has them play games together. She is just such a sweet person. But then, I, 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 I don't know what, something starts to happen with the kids. And now they've been there for about a year, maybe a year and a half. But they start stealing from her. She finds her money missing and some of her old keepsakes and her jewelries. They're taking them and stashing them elsewhere. And the next thing you know, they start tearing up the house, but they're not cleaning up. They're not doing their chores anymore. And when she asks them to do things, they ignore her. Or they run out of the house and go play and act like they didn't hear her. And then as time goes on, it's like they're taking her sweetness for weakness and i mean they're just starting to they you know she asked them if they're hungry and, and they're like we don't want that we didn't like that last night we want this and they start getting demanding and now she's old she's tired she needs help and she's trying to get the kids the older kids to help her pull things from the from the cupboard and they don't want to help her and then when she gets to cooking, they eat, they leave the stuff on the table, they run out and play. And she calls them in to come help her clear the table and do the dishes, and they're gone. They're not paying her any attention. And she is really hurt, because she can't figure out, well, what did I do? Why are they treating me like this? And then it gets to the point the kids are getting a little older, and she asks for something, and they throw hissy fits, and pick up things that mean stuff to her and they throw it and break it against her walls. I mean, they are actually beginning to destroy her house. And one of the kids gets so angry they set a fire in one of the little rooms off to the side. And, but it, it doesn't do much harm, it goes out. But I'm just saying this is how destructive they are. If a toilet gets stopped up and it's their fault, they don't do anything, they leave it. And they start using her bathroom. And they leave her bathroom a mess. And she's at the point where she doesn't even want to 
come sit in the house anymore because her house is no longer hers. What can an old lady do? What would you do if you came and saw this old lady being treated like this by these kids that she took in? I mean, she was giving them, she told them they could use her last name if they wanted to. And I mean, I am telling you, these kids just spit on her. I couldn't believe how they treated her. Can you? Well, this is the problem. They're in her house, eating her food, wearing her clothes, taking advantage of her love, and they're disrespecting her as if she was their kidnapper. Guess what? That's how we, on God's planet, eating God's plant food, eating God's animals, enjoying God's creation, God's sky, God's light, God's rain, God's wind, God's blessings, God's love, God's son sacrifice adopting us little sinful orphans and we piss off get out of my business we treat God like he kidnapped us 